Good to see you. How are we doing today? Good. Let's roll. Good. You got so many young, movable pieces on this offensive line, and, and I know that there's probably three spots that are up for grabs. But just want to ask you about the line as a whole and how comfortable you are with this group moving forward. Well, it's still a work in progress because some of the guys are new, some of the guys have been here. But the biggest thing, you just moving forward. Knock on wood, we can stay healthy because uh, we got some bodies, some able bodies. With Ryan coming back, hopefully he's nice, good, ready to go, enthusiastic about playing again. Which he, you know, he's always enthusiastic trying to hurt somebody on the grass. Uh, Matt's come in, looks great so far on the grass. Luke, it's always been physical; it's gotten better in pass pro. So I'm just excited about the whole group in general. What did you see from Luke this past year when he made that spot start against the Falcons on the right side? The tackle. He felt more comfortable. Uh, that's what he played in college. He felt more comfortable. He's right hand dominant. And uh, so far, so good, knock on wood. He's been doing fine so far outside on the grass. So I'm excited about him, especially in the run game coming off the ball. He's just a physical player. Sometimes he gets over anxious. and just needs to relax and stay on his, uh, his targets and pass pro. But other than that, he's fine. Is he locked in in terms of where he's going to get his reps at the right tackle position? Or is he also going to be looked inside at guard as well? Well, it depends on what happens at tackle. But right now, he's trending towards right tackle. Uh, I think Dave has already told you guys that uh, Tristan and, and Matt are on the left. So right now, he's penciling it at the right. And, and so far, so good. So, What's the challenge? You, you know, the same offense for years and years now. Dave comes in. you got outside zones. You, you know, for your group, they have to learn it, right? But is there some excitement about doing something different and everybody kind of, you know? Yeah, it, it, look at the root. Of the offense, a lot of stuff we've done. Uh, we've had outside zone plays we didn't call them. We had things we didn't call. But uh, as far as the root core of it, the only thing that they bought to us that we haven't done in the past is what we call mid zone, uh, which we had a version of it, but not quite his version. The biggest thing for me, I've been in the same offense since 2007, so it's refreshing to me because this is kind of the offense that's trending around the league right now. So I get an opportunity to learn it, so I'm excited about that. Different lingo. Uh, you know, Baker's coming in from offense that was similar out in LA with uh, Coach McVay. So I'm excited, new terminology, different ways to look at things, different ways to put a game plan together. Together, excuse me. I'm excited about that and just having a different voice for the first time. Because really and truly, Byron and B.A. are one person and the same to me because it was the same offense. Just hearing somebody different has been refreshing. But, you know, those guys were good coaches as well. How, how is he different? How, much, how, how is he different than Byron? Talking about Dave. Uh, that I don't know yet. He's just different from the standpoint of just a new personality, a new way to do things. Uh, great guy. Byron's a great guy. B.A. was a great guy. Dave's a great guy. So far, so good. Uh, he listens to me and Joe and all the rest of the coaches. Byron did the same thing. So really, from that standpoint, it's all the same. It's just a different guy calling the shots, different guy leading the meeting. And it's been great so far, knock on wood. But he's probably one of those things where if you asked all of your offensive linemen, if you had, if you had one play, would you rather run block or pass the block? And yes, they would probably say run block. These guys are going to say run. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, having, had, having an offensive coordinator come in and say, we're going to commit to the run. We're going to have a rushing attack that is hopefully going to be far from the bottom of the league. I can see you smiling right now. That's got to be music to your ears and your guys' ears. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fat guy by nature. I want to run the football. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I've been in college football. I've been in the NFL around different coordinators. Every coordinator has their own philosophy. It is my job to follow that the direction they want to go in. That's it. That's my job. Dave's got a philosophy, and that's what we're going to ride with. If it's running the ball, we're going to run the ball. If it's passing, we're going to pass it. If it's throwing the screen, that's what we're going to try to execute. So that's my philosophy. I'm a soldier. All right? I'm not the leader of the ship. I'm a soldier. So whatever that guy wants to do, I'm going to follow. What you see when you were watching Cody Dave, members of the front office said they had a lot of fun um, yeah. when they popped that in? Well, you turn on Cody's tape in college, you know, he's sitting there, he's pancaking, throwing people. It's real violent, it's real nasty. But you think about the level of competition, no knock on those guys in the league he played in. But you go watch the Senior Bowl practices, you watch the Senior Bowl game, and he's bouncing around the offensive line against the SEC, the ACC type players, and he's kicking A. Uh, you get impressed. And he's a guy that can legit play five spots. And, uh, you know, I'm excited about the guy. He's bugging me. He's bugging Joe. He wants to play book. I'm like, hey, big fella, just slow down. We got plenty of time. Just slow down. But, you know, him and Ryan next together, along with Matt and next to Luke, whew, I'm excited. A lot of guys are going to get mashed in the ground. I was going to say, his personality and his temperament, because that position, uh, offensive line, like, you have to have a certain personality oh, yeah. and temperament. But, I mean, he's, he's a guy that it's very well documented. He talked to us about it. You know, he's, he's his own guy. He's very unique. Yeah, so I get a text. We draft him, and literally five minutes later, I get a text from Ryan. And Ryan goes, am I going to like this guy? 
And I, and I go, yeah. So I guess he saw like some of the clips during the draft. And he goes, me, him, and Matt are going to F some people up. So that right there gets me excited. Uh, and I'm just happy to have big guys, guys that eat up space. We look great when we get off the bus. You know, I think of the days, the good old days of Alley and Cap, big dudes, along with Ryan, along with Donnie, just having big, girthy guys that can move the front. I'm excited about those days again. And the biggest thing, we got guys that can do it no matter who's in there. We just got to stay healthy. Maybe the run game, obviously, um, Fournette is gone and there haven't been major additions. Yes, sir. And does that speak well to just the confidence you guys have in Rashad White stepping up? Love Rashad White. Love Sneak. Uh, I love Patrick. And uh, Edmonds is coming in as well. I'm just excited for those guys. They're going to get opportunities. And uh, I think all of them are impressive. They all bring something to the table. And, uh, you know, let them fight it out, see who gets the most reps. But obviously, I think any one of those guys can start. I'm, I would think right now, Shah's a lead horse until he's not. And, uh, you know, as you guys saw last year, he's capable. He could be special. What are some of the physical adjustments that your guys have to make going from the scheme that you were running previously to doing more of this, this wide zone scheme that you've been hearing about? Uh, really not a whole bunch. It's all technique work, just getting better, being fundamental. Uh, you know, just working at it each and every day, getting the reps in practice, getting the calls in the game. Uh, from a technique standpoint, really nothing has changed uh, from what we've been doing on the grass the last few weeks with the guys. Uh, it's just about getting better, and that's the biggest thing is just doing things over and over again so we can get better at the simple fundamentals to execute whatever call he makes. Anything else? All right, thanks. Guys. See you guys next time.